Model Mind 72 doing a wicked 360 screaming burn out of the Wicked Wizard Garage saying what's up to the model car community. Just want to let you know the government's got your YouTube channel IPs and I understand that they can't wait to find out what the Wicked Wizard Garage is building and how they are building it because let me tell you I'm putting it down right now. The Wicked Wizard Garage is here to defy the styrene. But I'm saying you ain't got to do no wiretaps or play no spy games, brothers. Model Mind 72 is here with the update for you. I'm going to bring it straight to you. There ain't no secrets. 1970 Chevelle 3-in-1 Reveal Street Burner. Part of my Resurrection series. It is fixing to have an update, so we're going to let everybody know what the cat's out of the bag and what's going down on this build, so let's get into it. All right, I just got through going and checking out the new Fast and Furious movie, and uh, let me tell you, it blew my doors off. Uh, I'm a real fan of the series. So anyway, uh, Dom's new ride in this flick is... Uh, painted in this color they call ox blood and uh, I had to throw something down so this is my uh, ox blood paint job it's actually the first candy that I've brought to the channel and um, it actually came out really nice guys really nice I'm really impressed with it this Chevelle uh, was um, a few different colors um, through this build. Um, I went with, um, I think I went with red at first, which it, it looked really good in, in red, but um, I ended up purple pond in it, and then I went with the, the blue, which was gorgeous. The blue actually was, you know, was really sweet, but... You know, you see so many blue Chevy Chevelles. So, after watching uh, this new Fast and Furious movie and seeing Dom's new ride and, and checking out that paint job, I just I said, you know what? I'm going to see if I can mix something up and, uh, and go crazy on this thing. So, this is, uh, this is my uh, ox blood paint job. And it is, um, it's, a, it's, it's a candy, it's actually a candy red. And I'll go into it uh, on uh, the behind the styrene as far as all the layers and, and how I went about achieving this, this paint job. But just a quick update on this uh, sweet piece. Just want to let everybody know out there that uh, I'm watching everybody's videos and... Um, I'm seeing a lot of great work out there. I, and I really appreciate all my subscribers for uh, tuning in. Big shout out to all my subscribers. And just know that um, I'm, pulling, I'm pulling some uh, cars from my um, inventory. And I'm going to have uh, my subscriber build uh, model kits in an upcoming video. So you guys can vote on what uh, car y'all want to be the, the subscriber build. Also, we need to pick uh, an official Wicked Wizard garage shop truck. Got, got that going down. Got the new Mopar Madness series. This uh, paint job came out uh, spectacular. And uh, this build, I enjoyed building this car when I was a teenager. And... Um, I'm enjoying it, building it right now, um, just as much. Uh, bringing back all the memories. Of course, now I'm doing stuff to it that I wanted to do to it back then, but didn't have the time or money. <laughs> so this is a this is a vision coming to life right before your eyes. Very special build to me. Uh, it means a lot. So you got to wear shades when staring at this paint job directly. Or it, or it, it will detach a retina. 
there will be some sort of eye damage going on with this paint job. No, just kidding, guys. But this is a this is a beautiful paint job. I I, I just can't believe that it came out as it did. It was one of those things where it was actually an experiment. I was like, okay, then I'm gonna do this, <laughs> and it looked good. And I said, okay, then I'm gonna do this, and it turned out even better. And I said, okay, now I'm gonna try this, and then it was like. Man, I better stop while I'm ahead because I don't want to mess this up, right? Anyway, um, what else we got going on? We got the Dave Parker bill about 90% done. Uh, the Mustang Rival, it's going to race it. It's about 85% done. Uh, as soon as I get them two built, I'll display them and uh, do the infamous race and see where old Dave comes out. Good to see Dave back and making videos again. Uh, dude, don't worry about work. Uh, work's going to be work. Just um, put your um, mind on your models and relax. You know, it's therapy. It, it's actually therapy to a lot of people. And especially uh, a lot of people in the community that are really hardcore modelers. Uh, I, I know that it, they use it as therapy. I mean, it it, it is... It relaxes you. It's just much like if I'm playing my guitar or singing, writing a song. Uh, you know, listen. Just you know, how you listen to music. It just relaxes you. It, it's it's all therapy, man. That's what you do. You find stuff that mellows you out and and relaxes you and and resets you back to zero, so you can get up another day and, and fight a good fight. Um, I'm proud to be an American and and live in America. And uh, I'm I'm glad that you know we get to build these models and, and have YouTube channels and and share our creativity and our our art with each other. You know, when I was a child, sitting you know at uh, my mom's kitchen table building models, I never thought that you know one day I'm gonna have a channel and people are gonna watch you know me build a build a car you know <laughs> it never dawned on me you know that that would even that you know was even you know possible but it is and it's happening and uh, it's going down so all you uh, faithful followers man this car I'm telling you One update that I do want to talk about is my um, 64 Impala community build that I'm doing. Um, I said it was going to be a back burner, and it really is going to be a back burner because it, the paint job on there, I'm doing a metal flake paint job. And if anybody's ever painted a sprayed flake before, you know that uh, it, it takes forever to, to get it right, get it the way you want it, get it laid right. And the, the amount of layers of clear and, and that I'm doing, the different color changes and with the graphics and everything on the side, I mean, it looks it looks absolutely phenomenal. It's a uh, it's actually drying right now. I got I just sprayed with no coat of clear, or I'd show it. But um, yeah, it, it's it, it's it's definitely one of uh, my most um, intense paint jobs to date. But the name of that build's called Brothers. Basically, because you know all the brothers in the community, so it's brothers, and um, thinking about going a little bit, you know, radical with the suspension. I know the uh, the kit itself builds up pretty nice, but I'm thinking about going even more extreme than that. But it's either going to be going that way, or it's going to be you know building it as the low rider like the kit it is. Um, which that kit builds up fabulous. I'm having, I'm enjoying myself tremendously with that with that kit. Matter of fact, but um, hope y'all enjoyed this little update, and I hope everybody's doing well out there. And um, just keep building, and you know, keep bringing them to the channels, man. Because I'm watching, even if I'm not commenting, I am watching, and I'm liking. So you know, make them and put them out there. This is Model Mile 72 saying peace and love to everyone. And uh, rock on and build strong.